Hello BYU Idaho students. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to use the AutoCAD rotate command. A common problem we have in AutoCAD is we have drawn an object and then we need to rotate it. Using the mouse to rotate an object is pretty easy, but if we want to rotate an object relative to the angle of another object, well, the options within rotate command are a little confusing. We have four options within the rotate command. Manual rotate with the mouse, which is the easy one. Rotate with the relative angle to the object. Third is to rotate with an absolute reference angle. And fourth, which I feel is the most confusing, but the most powerful, is to rotate an object to match the angle of another object. I have four different examples in AutoCAD that will go over the rotate command. So we can, at the command prompt, we can just go ahead and type rotate, or abbreviated RO. The other option is on the home tab, and we have rotate here as well. So now from the command prompt, select the objects. And this is gonna be the same for all of them. We select the object, we're only doing one, so then we hit space or enter. Then we put the rotation point, it's going to be right here. And now I can just go ahead and use my mouse and rotate it to wherever I want. I'll just go ahead and click here. It doesn't really matter. And I've changed the angle. Second option. So I'm going to hit RO for rotate. Or I can just use the up arrow for the previous command. Hit enter. Select this object. And now this is going to be rotated relative to an angle. So Relative to this, this adds 60 degrees, so we can make this at a 90. So I selected the object, space to enter. Here's the base point. I got it at 30, so if I type in 60, that'll give me 90 degrees. So that's rotated relative to an angle. Third option, rotate absolute angle. Rotate again. Select the object. Space, because we're only selecting one. The rotation point. And now we have to go to this option here, Reference. So I can hit R on the keyboard or just click Reference. I'm going to select this guy here. And now to make it an absolute angle, I'm going to say from this point right here, I want this to go to 90 degrees. So I'm going to type in 90. And now we've got a 90 degree angle there. And then the last rotation example is I want to rotate this so it's the same angle as this side of the square. So we'll do rotate again. Select this. Enter because we only need one. Base point. And now I'm going to do reference just like we did over here. This will be the reference line. And now this is the part that people get confused on points. So I'll select that. And then I'm going to select here and here. And now that line was rotated to the same angle as this. 